Hi there, my name is Virginia Lindsay. I am the designer and sewer behind Ginger Cake Patterns and Design. Um, I started sewing about six years ago when my three kids were little. They were ages four and under and um, I wanted to do something during nap time and in the evenings to make some extra money for my family. And so sewing, designing sewing patterns and selling my made things at craft shows and on Etsy was a great way for me to help out and also made me feel like I was contributing. Um, so I wrote this book called Sewing to Sell. This is my newest endeavor. I'm really excited about it and it is all about starting your own craft business. And it also includes 16 copyright free projects that you can sew and add pockets, delete pockets, make bigger, smaller, whatever you want to do uh, so that you can sell these things at craft shows and online um, to friends and family and uh, have your own sewing business, give your own sewing business a kickstart. So the first thing we're going to do is start a um, cloth grocery bag. Um, it uses two half yard pieces of fabric and it's a really quick and easy project but also very useful and bound to be um, a great seller. So let's begin. So the first thing we do is we make our pattern piece. You want to trace your pattern piece from the, um, the, the paper that you get in the book. Um, so we have, I traced on butcher block, I have a big roll of butcher block and I traced out my pattern piece right here and then I wrote my instructions on the fold, on the fold and you know what it is. So this is what I keep and then I fold this back up and keep it in the book. Um, and we're going to use two cuts of um, half yard fabric. Uh, this is a really standard cut you get, you can order online. This is this really cute new um, cotton and steel fabric. And then I used for my interior, my lining fabric, I use this, um, what I, one of the things I love to use is drop cloth fabric. I get a big sheet of it from the home improvement store. I wash it a couple times and it's a real nice lining fabric. You have to be a little careful about fraying, but um, that's one of my tricks I like to use to kind of keep costs down but still give a quality product to my customers. So we're first, we're going to go ahead and cut the pattern out. Um, the first thing you do is you fold it in half like this. So now your piece is, now your piece is 18 inches long and folded in half, fabric width of fabric is either 42 inches, 40 inches, 44 inches, it doesn't really matter because we're going to make adjustments for that size. So you just fold it in half and then you fold it again. So you're folded into quarters right here. And you take your pattern piece and you, this is on the fold here and on the fold down here. And you'll see that my pattern piece is actually a little bit longer than the fabric, which is no big deal. You just what needs to make sure is that the top, the handle part, is up at the top and on these cuts. And this down here on the fold doesn't have to be totally lined up. We just need to make sure that the exterior fabric and the lining fabric are the same size. So now I'm going to cut out my pattern piece and then we'll begin sewing. Okay, so now I've cut my, uh, my pieces out and this is what your uh, fully cut piece should look like. You can see the handles up here and the sides and it's uh, fully one full piece. And what we're going to do is take it and fold it right sides together, line up the sides here and put a couple pins in, just probably right up at that corner and one down here. And we're going to sew both of these sides together. And then do the same on the lining, but leave a leave a three inch gap or a four inch gap on the side of the lining so that we can turn the bag inside out in a, um, in a couple steps later. So um, now let's head over to the sewing machine. So now I've, sew I've already sewed up the sides um, so your piece should look like this. This is the exterior piece and this seam is sewn and uh, this seam also. And also I did the lining the same way. You can see it's like this with a three inch gap here. Well, it's actually about four or five inches. It doesn't really matter all that much here on the side for turning in a few steps. Um, so I'm going to take this lining piece and turn it right sides out, poke out those corners and insert this lining piece inside the exterior piece. Get your corners lined up 
and then um, have the seams lined up for pinning in the next step. So now I have the lining inserted inside the exterior bag and the side seams are nice and uh, lined up here with the pin with, and I have it pinned here and at the top of all these little what will be the handles of the bag. And you can see everything is lined up nicely because we made them both the exact same size. And the next step is to sew together the lining and the exterior bag by going down along these loops here and this loop here and um, this side and then down along this side too. So you can look at your um, paper instructions and, and I'm just gonna do that right now on the sewing machine and be back in a minute. So now we have the uh, the sides we have the sides done and we have the um, exterior and the lining attached through these cur these top curves the whole top the only part that's now open are these little um, handle tops right here we're going to put those together a little later I also use pinking shears along the corner along the edges here uh, to prevent fraying and to reduce some of the bulk around the curves so. We're not going to quite turn it inside out yet. What we're going to do instead is create, um, get ourselves ready for making the boxy bottom. So you can put a lot of groceries in there. And we're just going to pull out the, um, the lining and have the exterior like this. It's still inside out. And we're going to make, lay it all nice and flat in front of us here so that we have the handles are up like this. And we are then going to take a pencil, because this isn't going to be seen later, and mark our corners one, two, three, and four. Okay, so come a little closer and we'll take care of that. Now that we have the corners marked one, two, three, and four, that's just a little way to keep us more organized in doing this next step. I'm going to take the fabric and pull it out and create um, a little triangle here to do my boxy edges. Make sure the seam is right down the center and then put a little pin through there and then take number two corner of the lining and pull that out also and create. Make sure that the seam is in the center and put it out and have a pin through. And then to save us the time from sewing all of these separately we're going to put these together like so get them nice and lined up, lay flat on our cutting board, and take the, our, the clear, your clear plexiglass ruler and mark three and a half inches down from the tip of the triangle. And use a pen, make sure it's nice and straight, and use a pencil to mark across. Put a couple pins in there to hold it nice and flat. And you're going to sew across right here, getting both layers together on your sewing machine. And repeat on the other side. Okay, let's head to the sewing machine. Now that we've sewn our corners, um, you have this kind of like crazy little weird shape, uh, which is if you kind of hold it up, you can see that you have the two you have your handles down here and this is actually going to be the base of your bag and what I'm going to do is cut off these two corners to create uh, a nice boxy bottom for our bag. So we're going to cut those off with your rotary cutter or scissors would work fine. Just cut those right off and then we're going to reach into that opening. We have to find that opening that we made in the um, when we are sewing up the side seams and turn the whole bag inside out. So find your sides and there's my opening. I'm just gonna poke the bag right side out. This is sort of like some sewing magic here because now we have these really great corners and the bag is really nicely put together. Um, you can see the boxy bottom of the bag, see it's coming together. And what we need to do is just pull out all four of these handles 
and make them join them up so that the bag comes together nicely in the end. Very simple. Once you get the hang of it, you can kind of plow through these, make a bunch at once, and then have a good price point for your sales. Or gifts for friends. Makes a great, uh, a great gift also. So we're gonna pull all four of these out and take it over to my ironing board and press the, um, the top edge here nice and neat. Can you see how the back has kind of come together all of a sudden? And we're going to go over to the iron board and press all of this nice and flat. Okay, we'll be right back with you. Okay, so now I have the bag all nicely pressed all around the um, seam here. You can see it's nice and crisp. And the other thing I did to complete making the handles was I pressed under this one side of the bag. I pressed under these openings so you have a nice crisp um, fold there. And I'm going to take the unfinished side, which I didn't fold under or press under, and insert it right into this opening. And we're going to do that on both sides. And then you pin it down and um, take it to your sewing machine and uh, sew it closed. Uh, the other thing you need to do to finish up the bag is to uh, fin uh, sew up the opening in the lining so that you have the bag um, nicely finished on the inside. And what I usually do is I take those openings, I press them under the, the raw edges, I press them under, and then I just do a nice little top stitch pretty close to the edge, like an eight an eight to the end to the edge or even closer if you can and close that up and that's on the inside of your bag and won't be noticed it'll be that'll be a nice enough finish for that so I'm going to head to my sewing machine and finish it up okay, so here we have the bag completed and you can see that I did this cute little fold I when I finished the handle then I folded it in to create this nice little seam. It makes it extra easy to carry and a little sturdier. Um, so it's a really cute bag and you can make it in sets um, to sell or for your family and friends. Uh, it also doesn't have to just be a grocery bag. I mean, it's a great tote for going to the beach or you know, whatever, you, library books, whatever you might want to use it for. So I hope that you get to make one. And um, it's all the detailed instructions are here in my book, Sewing to Sell. Thanks so much.